I think it's an obsession. I mean, you, you all you got to do is walk down a train station nowadays and see people looking at their phones, right? So all of this stuff, and, and then you've got you've got social media, which which in a lot of ways, you know, it sits on top of this technology box, and people get get sucked into. Then then above everything, people are busy. They're almost busy being busy. Everyone I speak to is busy. So then you sort of have to to think about that from a second and think, well, despite the fact that technology and social media in particular are supposed to be about building connection, the reality is loneliness is almost an epidemic. Like loneliness is a big issue. So the way we look at it, the horse is bolted on technology. We're not putting that genie back in the bottle, right? And that's that's fine. But humans are actually hardwired to find belonging and find genuine connection and, and trust. There's, there's biological and chemical responses that have been proven over multiple studies, over multiple decades, across all cultures and all different age groups, that there are both emotional and physical benefits for people when they feel belonging and, and feel like they're connected. And the question then becomes for us, how, how can neighbourhoods and places that we create enhance people's mental or physical well-being through connection? 